Hi, here is some example for Kirchhoff current law and current divider. Based on the circuit in figure shown here, calculate the current I1. So where is the I1 from the circuit? It's here. Alright, if you look at this circuit, what will you need to do first? You will need to do R equivalent to get the current I naught and then calculate the I1. To get R equivalent, for example, you can simplify the resistance between 8 ohm and 12 ohm first. This one, for example, you call it as R equivalent 1. So R equivalent 1, these two resistance is connected in parallel. When they are connected in parallel, you need to do 1 over 1 over resistance 8 ohm plus 1 over resistance 12 ohm. So you get from here 4.8, 4.8 ohm. So after you combine them, so it's become one resistor with the value of R equivalent 1 equals to 4.8 ohm. So this resistance is become one resistor call it R equivalent 1 equals to 4.8 ohm. So these two resistance between 1.2 ohm and 4.8 ohm they are connected in series. When they are connected in series, you can combine them by adding them. For example, you call it as R equivalent 2 is equals to 1.2 ohm plus 4.8 ohm. So it's become 6 ohm. After you combine, they become one resistor with a value of 6 ohm, known as R equivalent 2. Next, you can combine this one, this resistance, and this resistance. So, if you combine this resistance, we call it as R equivalent 3. So, R equivalent 3 is equals to 1 over 1 over 3 ohm plus 1 over 6 ohm. So it's become 2 ohm. So it just looks like you have 4 ohm resistance and here 2 ohm resistance. Where you can combine them, call it as R equivalent 4 between 4 ohm plus 2 ohm and it's become 6 ohm. So it just looks like you got 6 ohm over here and 6 ohm over here. So this circuit will be maintained. So you got 6 ohm and 6 ohm over here. So these two circuit you can combine them and then it will become like R equivalent 5 for example so it's equals to 1 over 6 ohm plus 1 over 6 ohm so it's become 3 ohm is 3 ohm resistance is connected in series with 1 ohm resistance this one is 2 ohm this one is 6 ampere. So you can combine them. Call it R equivalent 6 between here and here. 3 ohm plus 1 ohm is equal to 4 ohm. So you get the circuit like this. between 2 ohm and 4 ohm so at 2 ohm 
you got I1. This one is I I note. This one is 6 ampere. So from here, you can use the voltage, uh, the current divider, for example, to solve this problem. Where you can get I1 is equals to resistance at I1, which is 1 over 2 over total resistance, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 ohm. times by 6 ampere so I1 is equals to 1.25 ampere that's all thank you